Hello listeners and welcome to another edition of Turf Talk. I'm your analyst Michael Kane and I'm here to take you through a preview of the upcoming 10 race card. That's going to be on show on Saturday the 29th of April 2023. The feature is going to be the 10th uh, anniversary, the Enibet 10th anniversary trophy. That's going to be race number 9, a purse of 1.21 million and we have a field of 12 three olds that are going 1,200 meters or 6 furlongs. And that's going to be a very interesting event. The 10th and final will be the Jamaica Veterinary Board World Vet Day Trophy. That's a cool feature, 1.14 million in the purse, a feed of 13. It's for open to the last contenders. They'll be going one mile, 1,600 meters or eight furlongs. The Jamaica Equine Veterinary Association Trophy, that's going to be race number seven, a cool feature on the card. And we have a purse of 990,000. It's for maidens, throws and up. Actually, maidens, three olds only. And they'll be going 1,820 meters or nine furlongs and 25 yards. The Anybet.com Sprint is going to be race number six. That's going to be another Trophy race on the card, that's for restricted allowance four. Native bread four is not nouns of three and importees four is not nouns of two. The purse, one million and ten thousand. Race one is at 11.45 a.m. And here's where we'll start. The regular six minimum guaranteed payout is two million. And we have 180 claimers that will go in 800 meters straight or four foot long straight. The purse is 580,000. And it's a horses who have not earned 140,000 since December 29th, 2022. My best four of the feed of 10 includes three Hail Mary, four Estalita, eight Okahumka, and 10 Money Marshall. Three, four, eight, 10. That's where we're going to go in race number one. The one they'll all have to beat is number eight, Okahumka. Ray Lewis is in the Santa Patrina Christopher Pier and owner Onid Markland. Claim for 180000 on the 22nd of February when second by two lengths a contractor, the Downing Class contractor, visor of blinkers on Okahumka should take some catch in here. Number 10, Money Marshall has speed. Nicholas Hubert Wright for trader Henry Harrison Jr. And this Money Marshall was served last behind Hunter's Ridge and contractor will keep Money Marshall on the right side. And number 3, Hail Mary. Back over the straight course now, Philip Pantron picks up the ball for Gordon Lewis. Claim for 180 on the 12th of March, stepped up to 250 next in town. Didn't do much, but back down to the 180 level now where she was served by four and three quarter lengths behind Sir Frederick and party princess Sir Frederick, a recent winner. So look for Hail Mary to run a fairly decent race here. And Estelita number four, returned to active competition on the 1st of April, 5th by 10 lengths behind Hunters, Ridge Contractor, and Money Marshall. Change of stable now takes also from Philip Lee, Roman Appear rights. Estalita also has good pace and is to be respected. Make it 8, 10, 4, 3 in race number 1. Okahumka to get the better of Money Marshall, Estalita, and Hail Mary. Dr. Paul agrees with me with Okahumka. Haven't heard from Ryan or Marshall. So myself and Doc will be giving you the, the tips until first post for the 10 race card, we may hear from Ryan and Marshall. Race number two is next, and here's where we have the start of the catch nine. Minimum guaranteed pay of 500,000. The catch nine jackpot stands at 1.398 million. Race two is for the high level claimers, 1 million to 800,000. We have a field of seven. The trip, 1200 meters or six furlongs, they run for a purse of 990,000. My best four for race two includes one, Rassi Manuel, three, Alexa's Dream, four run with me, and five, Nuker Noon. One, three, four, five. That's going to go in race number two. The one they'll all have to beat is number five, Nuker Noon, steps down from open allowance to claiming. Tevin Foster, writer Anthony Noon, is an owner of my cross. Nuker Noon last raced against I Am Fred, Runaway Algo, and She's My Destiny. Prior to that, was second behind Emperor of the Cats over five runners round. So among claimers now, Nuker Noon clearly is going to take some beating here. Number one, Rashi Manuel, second by just a short head on that behind Magical Mood over five for long straight. Two kilos lighter now. Rain Lewis Wright for Jason Acosta and champion owner Carlton Watson. Rashi Manuel most definitely can uh, be given the word of respect here. Number three is Alexis Dream, steps down from Overnet Allowance. Dean Dawkins drives against Rabati. Can this we expect Alexis Dream to run a decent race here? And number four, Romer with me, steps down from Overnet Allowance as well. Has 57 kilos, John Top Weight with Newker Noon. Roger Hute, writer of Fernando Geddes and owner Desmond Dallas. While Run With Me steps on from Overnet Allowance, Alexis Dream also steps on from Overnet Allowance. Nuker Noon is stepping down from Open Allowance and that's going to be the clincher. And as such, Nuker Noon, my firm selection in race number two. Make it 5-1-4-3. Nuker Noon to get the better of Rice Emanuel, Run With Me and Alexis Dream. Dr. Paul Light agrees with me with Nuker Noon. Race number three is next. Post time, 1 p.m. It's for three and up. An optional claim event, 250 on the 200,000 claim and spread. 
Native bred six years and up, nouns of three, and imported six years and up, nouns of two, and five years and up, nouns of a race lifetime. Also invited to take part without the claiming tag. The purse is 680000 My best four of the field of eight, one, whatever, three, Sunshine Cat, four, War of the Roses, and five, Ricky Ricardo. One, three, four, five. That's we're going to go in race number three. The one I like on top is above Ricky Ricardo, was second at the 400,000 level on dance behind He Can Dance, steps down to the 250 level. So an easy assignment here for Ricky Ricardo. Rain Lewis rides for trainer Errol Anthony Likasop Sabrati. Ricky Ricardo, the horse to beat in race number three. War of the Rose is second on his last two outings, second by three and a quarter lengths to Dr. Gray over seven furlongs at 133 flat, and the second over seven furlongs at 131 and the fifth of a second, two starts back, second by 10 and three quarter lengths. So the trip is now seven and a half for Look for the Law of the Roses to be well poised here. Omar Walker rides for trainer Percival Hussey. We welcome back Percival Hussey to active competition here. Training horses again at Cape Anna's Park. And that's my top two in race number three. Whatever, third on the last three outings, so she should be able to run well here. And Sunshine Cat steps down from 400,000 down to the 250 level for the first time. Look at the back class of Sunshine Cat. Has raced at the 550 level as well as the 750 level. So 250 should be a walk in the park for Sunshine Cat. Once Sunshine Cat is focused for this assignment, we could see Sunshine Cat delivering a very big effort here. And that big effort could be good enough to win. I'm going to go 5413 in race number 3. And that's Ricky Ricardo to get a better of War of the Roses. Whatever. Sunshine Cat. Dr. Paul Wright, he agrees with me once again. We agree so far on the first three selections. We go for Ricky Ricardo in the third. Race number four is next, post time, 1.35 p.m. It's a restricted allowance, 4 4 8 bread, 5 adopt nouns of 3, and the portees, 5 adopt nouns of 2, a field of 90 kilo to go post of the race for a purse of 730,000. The distance here, 1,100 meters or 5.5 furlongs. My best four includes one true bravado, three big argument, eight silver fox, and nine more scored. One, three, eight, nine. The one I like on top is number eight, Silver Fox, second on his last three out in, second by head behind Soul Armor, three starter back over five straight, second by six and three quarter lengths behind Joyful over five and a half furlongs. That was on the 25th of March, two starter back. And the last out in on the 9th of April, second by length behind Kataba over five furlongs straight. Kataba came back to win again. So Silver Fox knocking on roar for some time now, and the door may very well open this time around. Dane Dawkins maintains the ball for Trina Gersobati and owner breeder. Newbro Limited, Silver Fox. My firm selection in race number four. Number one is True Bavada, a very speedy sort. Most definitely should set off from this inside draw and be the one to catch. But he's not proven to be very resolute in recent months. Fit Parchin picks up the mount for Donovan Russell, a.k.a. Bubble. True Bavada to be kept on the right side. Big argument, stretch out at seven furlongs and last and led for the first five and a half furlongs. Then the distance took its toll. Weakened to third, eight and a quarter in behind Rudd's the Indian and its sensational ending. Big argument should hold on a lot longer. Over five and a half furlongs and more scored number nine, third and last in that same Kataba Silver Fox event was four and a half lengths in arrears to Silver Fox. And that day had 50.5 kilos. This time around we'll have 54 kilos. So three and a half kilos heavier is this more scored. And as such, Silver Fox is expected to maintain that uh, cushion over more scored. Make it 8139 in race number four. Silver Fox to get the better of True Bavado. Big argument and more scored. Dr. Paul Wright agrees with me with Silver Fox. Race number five is next. We start the Twilight Six here. Minimum guaranteed pair is two million. We have a field of nine. It's a restricted allowance. Five for native bread, four years up nuns of two, and importees, four years up none. Winners of race lifetime, also known as maidens. Division one. They race for a purse of 720,000. They'll go 1,300 meters or six and a half furlongs. My best four includes two She's My Friend, four Randy Bangala, seven Get a Pepsi, and eight. King Air, 2, 4, 7, 8. That's going to go in race number 5. Number 7, get a Pepsi. All the rage on last. On the 15th of April at 8 to 5, coming off a 6-month break. Now, get a Pepsi. Didn't do much. 7 by 11 lengths behind Jack or Jungle Boogie and Randy Bangada. Has come back to work fairly well. 7 furlongs, 134 flat on the 21st of April. On the strength of that, supporting a betting on the 15th of April. I think that that is a big enough tip-off of what is ex- expected of Get A Pepsi and as such. I'm working to Get A Pepsi this week, hoping that he come to the fore with that expected effort. Odin Edwards maintains about return to Errol Burke. My top choice is Get A Pepsi. Number two, she's my friend. Three total last with Abigail Abel and didn't do much. Prior to that, second on three consecutive outings, 
Second behind four five of a length and a quarter, over six far down, second by two and a quarter, behind no more these over five and a half far down, second by a short head, behind one like it, over six far downs. Any of those two three efforts reproduce here, we'll see she's my friend, bang contention, Ryan Lewis. He picks up the mount here for trader Jason Acosta. Number four, Randy Bangala, third by five and a quarter left behind Jagger and Jungle Boogie. Very encouraging run. That was her second attempt at the runs of two level. Tevin Foster, the leading rider. He's just one in front of Varian Lewis. He picks up the mount here for trader Robert Pearson. We'll keep Randy Bangala on the right side. And number eight is King Air. Finally got it right on the 17th attempt. However, that was maybe the second attempt on the trainer's Colin Ferguson's care. Paul Francis replaces Trevor Simpson OD in the saddle. The trip is reduced from seven furlongs to six and a half furlongs. King Air has good pace, and pace makes the race. So we'll keep King Air on the right side. But I'm expecting the more seasoned numbers of two campaigners to be in front of King Air. Make it 7248 in race number five, and that's get a Pepsi to get a better off. She's my friend, Rani Bangala, and King Air. Dr. Paul Light's Cook Food Special. Is number four, Randy Bangala. So this is the first Anybody race that now we offers a third easy, secure, you know, and you know, convenient top of option. Take for- Welcome back uh, to the program. You're still Michael Kane taking for the preview of the upcoming 10 race car and that's going to be on show at Cayman's Park on April the 29th, 2023. The final race day for April and next week is going to be the Portmore Stakes and the Kingston Stakes. The Portmore Stakes will be, of course, for the Phillies over seven and a half furlongs. And the Kingston takes for the Colts and Gellins, also over seven and a half furlongs. So that's going to be the final major prep for the upcoming season's first classics of course, the 1,000 Guineas and 2,000 Guineas to be run the first week of June. Red race number six is the Anybet.com sprint, 1,000 meters straight at the trip. It's a restricted downs 4 4 8, the bread forwarded up nouns of 3, and in Portis forwarded up nouns of 2. The purse is 1 million and 10,000. We have a big feel of 14 set to go postward. My best four of the 14 include seven slammer. 9, posing already 14, Sizzin, Sister K, and 6, Gilbert in that order. 7, 9, 14, and 6. Slammer has been blazing the exercise track. 5, for down straight in a minute and 2, fifths by 46, 2. On the 7th of April. On the 15th of April, 5, straight in a minute and 2, fifths by 46, 2. With burn up, he's still with it. And on the 22nd of April, the final exercise prep coming into this. 5, straight in 101, flat by 47 and a fifth, alongside burn up. Visor has been removed by the Hall of Fame trader Richard Azan. Anthony Thomas picks up the mount. The way Slammer has been moving in the mornings suggests that Slammer will slam these. Number nine, posing already. Second by Lenton last behind Scooby. Scooby came back to win next in town. So that's a very good form line here for posing already. And posing already had to be switched inside the final furlong. Had to alter course because Rambling Rose was running a zigzag pattern of some sort. And Posen already lost a bit of momentum there. Finished a strong second anyway. And that was uh, his first run at the nuns of three levels. So he clearly has the pace of this group. Tevin Foster replaces the induction in the side. Two and a half kilos heavier is Posen already. Posen already should be in the thick of things when it's being decided. Number 14, Susan Sister K. Romped home to victory last in Minton three-fifths. Beating Shrewsbury Norm. Shrewsbury Norm came back to win. So that's a very positive angle to take the chances of season Sister K. However, she bled through lay six, and that's never a good sign. Bled through lay six on debut, bled through lay six on last when winning. So clearly, the bleeding has to be kept in check in order for season Sister K to improve and be at her best. Radish Roman picks up the bond replacing Dane Dawkins. Notably, Dane Dawkins is aboard number 11. Lord Burkington, the top weight with 56 kilos, picking up four kilos of that second place effort behind Divine Force on last. Number six, Gilbert, Shane Richardson right for Philip Fiano D, was served by Ford behind Divine Force and Lord Burkington, over five Ford on Street on the 8th of April. No bid on last in that major danger event. Look for Gilbert to be much more focused for this assignment at hand. And let me see, Philip Fiano D doesn't have any other entry here. Last time out in that major danger event. Very interesting event. Philip Fiano D had Four runners, including the big favorite Divine Force, who finished a flounder in fourth. Make it 7 9 14 6 in the anybet.com sprint. Slammer over Posner already, season Sister K and Gilbert. Dr. Polite agrees with me with Slammer. So for the first six races, we agree 
on a top choice in five of six races. Race number seven is next. It's the Jamaica Equine Veterinary Association Trophy. A field of 11 declared to go 1,820 meters. It's a maiden color training, so native three holes. The person 990,000. My best four for race number seven. Three, life is life. Four, brown skin girl. Eight, home alone. And ten, hot stepper. The one I like on top is number eight, home alone. On debut, went over six furlongs and was uh, fifth by 15 and a half length. Broke slow. The winner ability won by some 12 lengths. Second time out, stepped up to eight furlongs with the tongue tie and figure eight removed. And home alone showed much better form. Finishing second by six cents behind a modern miracle in 143 flat for a mile. Clearly has shown a liking for distance of ground. Now gets a two-turn trip, nine furlongs and 25 yards. And having worked well on the 21st of April with eight furlongs in 146 and a fifth of a second. The first seven furlongs were 131 and four fifths of a second. So you do the calculations. The final furlong. 14 and 2 fifths of a second. So if you can work a mile and finish up in 14 2 for the final furlong, you're definitely going well. And home alone, reportedly. Unlimited, where stamina is concerned. And we look forward to this one to compete in the distance races. And here comes a two turn circular dine. Distance, home alone, should be right home where he belongs in this event. Baby Tri Harvey picks up the mountain between Connor Ferguson and owner the seeker. Number 10 is Hot Stepper, second of the last two outings beaten by Princess Sharon and Burning Fowler. Two good runs. Should go well over the two-turn trip of 925 yards. Linton Stedman replaces Tevin Foster in the saddle. Notably, Tevin Foster is aboard number 11, bad investment. Hot Stepper should be in the thick of things throughout as well. Life is Life, number three, second behind the classy-looking Huntsman. In 133-4 for seven and a half runs on debut, winning by 70 lengths. Huntsman, definitely. A classy sort. Life is Life has the blinkers fitted for the first time by Champion Trader Jason Costa. O'Shea Newton rides and Life is Life has worked well. Five and a half rounds is 109 and a fifth. That work came on the 23rd of April. And number four, Brown Skinny Girl, second behind her still be mate. Galley Galley Links, over seven for rounds in a Phillies only contest. Now has first time lay six. Nine for and 25 yards, two for rounds extra. Rain Lewis replaces Robert Haldine in the saddle for Champion Trader Jason Costa. Jason Costa has Three entries here. Life is Life, Brown Skin Girl, and Empress Lynx. Anthony Nunes has one entry. Hot Stepper. And you know that those are the leading trainers. Make it 8, 10, 3, 4. Here in race number 7, the Jamaica Equine Veterinary Association Trophy. Home Alone. Over Hot Stepper, Life is Life. Brown Skin Girl. Dr. Polite's tip is number four, Brown Skin Girl. Race number eight is next, and this is for restricted allowance, five native with folded up nuns of two, and importees folded up maidens. Division two, 1300 meters of six and a half furlongs on the trip, the first 720,000, a field of nine. My best four here are one, aka Storm, four, Runway Icon, five, Ava Jalen, nine, Principal Tiffany, one, four, five, and nine. Runway Icon is the one I like on top. Jerome Innes, a.k.a. Cranberry, in the saddle. And he's in the spotlight right now for not the right reason. <laughs> and uh, uh, Roadway Icon, trained by Howard Jagai, own with his racing stable. This uh, Roadway Icon has not been getting her act together the last two outings. Had two strong second place finishes. Second by two and a half lengths on the 29th of January behind Exceptional Babs. Second by a length. On the 11th of February, that came behind Ramblin Rose. Ramblin Rose came back to win since. Jockey fell at the start. That's Rian Lewis on the 11th of March as the 3 to 5 favorite. Wow. And then came back on the 10th of April at 95 with Anton Thomas this time around. One pace, four by nine lengths to Susan Sister K, who was a very convincing winner. Shrewsbury Norm was second. Shrewsbury Norm came back to win. So I think that that's rich enough form line to tip Runway Icon to win here. Let's see. Four kilos lighter from 55 kilos to 51 kilos. Runway icon, my top choice here in race at number eight. Number five, Ava Jalen, fifth by six and three quarters behind Jupiter Man. Don Vincenzo and A.K. Storm has worked well for this. A half man in 50 and two fifths by 37 three and earlier went a half man in 49 flat, beating Nova Impulse. Ava Jalen will report an improved filly and she should be in the thick of things. And principal Tiffany, number nine, four by nine and some last behind Jaguar. 
Chunga Boogie and Randy Mangala. Jordan Bart replaces Anthony Thomas in the saddle for Trina David Powell. He's also the owner. We keep Principal Tiffany on the right side. I'm going to go 4 1 9 and 5, Runway Icon over AKA Storm. Then, Principal Tiffany and Ava Jalen. Dr. Polite Sip is number 8, Don Vincenzo, the 9th and penultimate. The Anibet 10th anniversary trophy, a purse of 1.21 million, a field of 12. These are three olds, a restricted allowance to native bred uh, three olds, nuns of 20 importies, three olds, and up maidens. My best four includes 1. Burn up. 5 electrode, 6 volatility, and 7 ability. 1, 5, 6, 7. That's where I'm going in race number 9. Number 1, Burlap. Anthony Thomas Wright, her Hall of Fame trader, Richard Azan. And the team up with Slammer in race 6. I'm expecting Slammer to win. Burlap has been working alongside Slammer in the mornings. 46 2 by a minute flat over the straight course on the 15th of April. Burlap has a visor removed, visor fitted on last. That didn't work. Now, having finished second. Behind Bootylicious, the Thornbird Stakes winner, subsequent to that 18th of uh, February win, Burlap is a classy sort, and he is expected to go places. So, I like the looks of this event. A lot of speed up front. Ridge Liner. Big guy in the sky. Electrode. Fast as can be. Undefeated at one start. Going for two from two. This is a half-brother to the likes of Patriarch out of the traditional dam. Electrifying. 57 kilos on debut, down 5 kilos to 52 kilos. Tevin Foster replaces Linton Stedman. Electrode will ensure that it's a hot pace up front. Ability, very convincing in the victory, 114.2 by 12 lengths on debut. Has worked well since, 48, 3 for a half mile on the 24th of April. Lasix administered for the first time. Javelin Pattison replaces Samantha Fetcher in the saddle. Ability has clearly shown. Above average ability and volatility number six, six by two and a half in sudden ass behind Platinum Force, Acknowledge Me and Fly Blue Jet. Look for this one to run a fair race here with the figure eight removed by Anthony Nunes and Champion Apprentice Yubi Pinnock appointed to ride. Make it one seven five six in race number nine. The Anibet 10th anniversary trophy. Burlap over ability, electrode, and volatility. Dr. Polite selection is number five, electrode. The 10th and final. The Jamaica Veterinary Board World Vet Day Trophy. A field of 13 runners will go one mile. The purse is 1.14 million. My best four here includes one, true, make that blue vinyl. Two, perfect blue. Four, crimson. And seven, I realize. One, two, four, seven. That's where I'm going in the tenth and final. Number two, perfect blue steps down from open allowance. Was fifth on his both, both his attempts, rather, at the open allowance level, 5 by 4 and a half is that Emperor of the Cats, Nuclear Noon and Yellowstone. That was over 5 rounds on 25th of March in 59-4. Hindered at a half mile point and did well to finish 5th by just 4 and a half lengths. That was his seasonal debut, so he showed a bit of sharpness there in that 5 round effort. Came back over 6 and a half four rounds, 5 by 11 and a quarter lengths. Running on behind I Am Fred, Runaway Algo and She's My Destiny. Yuval Pinnock was in the saddle again that day. It's now 6 am champion jockey Omar Walker. Perfect Brew has worked well. Seven furlongs in 129, 2 by 114, 3 on the 23rd of April. Despite the 57 kilo impost here, he steps down from open allowance to overnight allowance. And last time at overnight allowance, he was a six and a half length winner in 119 flat for six and a half furlongs, beating Big Big Daddy and Ring Charmer. So back to overnight company now. Perfect Brew looks to be in a perfect spot. Blue Valley number one, last year's St. Ledger. And 2,000 Guinness winner as Kingston Stakes winner as well. Returned to the winner's enclosure on his seasonal debut for 2023. One by three and three quarter lengths. Beating Brinks, his old rival. That race was for non-winners of an overnight race lifetime. Hence, Blue Vinyl steps up to overnight company for the first time. While Perfect Brew stepping down from open allowance. And back to Overnight Allowance, where he won impressively on the 27th of December. So, those two angles taken into consideration for both these runners, Perfect Blue has to be the top choice. Number seven, I realized, come to the Overnight Level for the first time, won convincing the anonymous four on the 31st of December. Rule report, a vast improved animal, when seven for it won 27-3 on the 16th of April. And hadn't, I've not seen such a fast seven for gallop in many, many months. 
on the 8th of April when five and a half rounds is 107, two by eight and two. So this is a very, very vastly improved. I realize Anthony Thomas trying to train Alfred Brown. I realize should make the grade at this overnight level. Has 52 kilos to do it. I would be the least surprised if he's to get the job done. And Crimson number four, second in the last two outings. Second behind Money Monster, second behind Sinsin Treasure. Look for Crimson to be finishing effectively of what is expected to be a very hotly contested pace. Make the numbers here, 2, 1, 7, and 4. Perfect Brew to get the better of Blue Vinyl, I Realize, and Crimson. Dr. Paul Wright's selection is Blue Vinyl number 1. Marshall's tips will be in before first post. I'm sure about that. Just saw Marshall ringing me on the phone while I'm doing the program. But couldn't answer Marshall. But uh, be sure that your tips will be known to your fans by the time it's going to be first post, which is 11.45 a.m. I'm Ernest Alice, Michael Kane on behalf of our student engineer, Richard Cat Anderson. K-L-A-S-F-M now presents.